Hey guys, so I'm excited to share with you today. I've got a new preset up on the marketplace for line six. Um, this one's a little different than what I've done in the past. Instead of trying to build uh, patches that sound like a specific style, genre, artist, uh, in this case, what I've done is I've tried to build an entire rig. So what you have, there are four snapshots that represent three channels plus a, a lead tone. So in, in essence, like a four channel amp. Uh, each channel or snapshot is changing different amp parameters, different parameters of the blocks in the preset. So it's designed to sound like you're changing the three different uh, discrete sounds. Um, the other thing that was really important to me in building this as a rig, because even if someone has a three or four channel amp, they still have a pedal board in front of them. So when you move over to stomp mode, I've got basically a full pedal board. I've got three different gain stages you can use, a couple of delays, a couple of modulations, wah, looper, just several things are built in there. So you can approach this patch in a number of ways. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. You can use, you can change the channels uh, through snapshots. Once you do that, you can go into stomp mode on whichever channel you're in and still have access to all the stomp box sounds. Or you can stay on the clean channel as, as an example and go into stomp mode. And with everything that's in stomp mode, you could simply get by a whole gig just using that. So if you like to use um, more of the pedal platform approach where you have a clean amp and then use use your pedals to get everything you need, it, you can do that. Um, if you want to set it up to do more like uh, your channel switching throughout a gig, you can do that. Um, I have used four snapshots. So there's still four snapshots available on the patch. You, you could, if you have other ideas of things you'd like to do, there's room to expand. Um, on the stomp side of things, you know, I put in pedals that I liked and set them up the way I liked. Uh, of course, you're free to, to swap things out and make the pedal board your own. But this provides you a platform, basically, to work off of to be your, to be your whole rig if you want it to be. So in the beginning of the demo, you heard the, uh, the clean, the crotch, the drive channel, and then the lead sound. Uh, I did want to spend just a couple of minutes. I'm going to stay on the clean snapshot. But just taking you through some of the uh, stomp box uh, setup that I have in this patch, so you can see also how versatile it is uh, on that side of things. So let's walk through that right now. Um, I'm on the clean. Yep. Okay, so I'm on the clean channel. So let's start with the drive. So I'm using, uh, I've got three different drive pedals here, depending on what you're going for. Um, I'm using the new Dyna drive that's available in the 2.8 uh, and up firmware. So this is a pretty, pretty, uh, dy very dynamic, bluesy kind of uh, drive. Uh, I like to use it for a clean to mild breakup lead tone. Um, sounds something like this. So without it, So just add some bite, you know, a little extra gain and, and that just on the edge of breakout kind of thing. Now you can flip over to a bridge pickup and really hit it and get some drive out. You know, it's still fairly clean. Here it is without any drive. So the way this clean setup, if you put it on a really hot pickup, even with the clean channel and, and just nail it, you can get it to push a little bit uh, without really pushing it hard. It is very clean, but again, put it on a hot pickup and just go at it. Then with the Dyna Drive. Back to the neck pickup. So they got some versatility there. Um, also have a Tube Screamer. A little more gain um, and Tube Screamer has that very mid-range focus, so uh, it gives you a little more gain and kind of helps push you through the mix. So. And then you can combine those two if you want kind of more of the same. You're taking two fairly similar overdrives and putting them together. That sounds like this. Then if you flip over to a hotter pickup with these two both on, you start to get a really nice crunch. So in my mind, you're getting into kind of like a 
a, a overdriven plexi kind of sound at that point. Um, the third overdrive I have is a Timmy. I have it set up more gain than the other two. Um, on a bridge pickup, it sounds like this. <laughs> It's got a little more low end to it, so if you're on a neck pickup, it's not it's not a fuzz sound per se, but it's got a little bit of that darker tone. And then again, you can stack drives, and that, that's why I like having multiple overdrives on a patch. You can stack them up. So I'm going to add the Dyna drive to the Timmy. Add the tube screamer on top, now you've got all the drives going. So you got a lot of sustain. I'm plugged directly in over USB. I don't have any speakers or anything uh, helping me get feedback. It didn't feed back, but you can hear plenty of sustain. Um, now I also have a, a delay on there. Uh, if you want clean, just to kind of to add some space. <laughs> Um, I have another delay, and this is something I always enjoy doing. I have another delay that is just one repeat, a uh, dotted eighth, and if I have both delays on, um, it kind of adds some, some nice ambient texture. So you get the idea, and you can add or use one or the other. Um, I have a Univibe on here. <laughs> Throw a little tube screamer in with that. And I also have a phaser on here. Another thing I have on here, it, keeping with the, uh, the pedal board feel, is that I have a lead boost, which is uh, an EQ block that is pushing forward the mid range and boosting the overall volume. So even if you're on the clean channel using it more of a pedal board, you still have the option to have a lead boost there. So if you're in a band and you, you can't really rely on the sound guy to know he's taking a solo, he needs to come up, you, you've got a way to control that from your feet. Um, the other last thing I have on here programmed is just a, a pitch shifter, just an octave down. If you uh, are wanting to do just kind of add some low end nastiness or, or pseudo bass line. So that can be kind of fun. Whoops. Sorry. So that can be kind of fun. Um, I do also have a looper in here, so without having that kind of bassy effect with the uh, with this pitch. It's a cool way if you're going to do loops and, and again, throw down like a pseudo bass line over some chords, um, fun for days. Um, there's a volume pedal and wah pedal on here. The volume is placed at the very end of the chain. Um, I know there's a little bit of debate on whether it should be at the front or the back, depending on what you want your volume pedal to do ultimately, but I chose to put it at the end of this patch because of the looper so you can fade uh, loops out. I uh, like being able to do that. I hate having a really busy loop going and then just you kill it. So that's why I did that. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and it, again, it can really replace your whole rig. 
This is set up to be run direct. If you want to run it through an app, simply turn off or take out the cab block. But, um, you know, I, I spend a lot of time dialing this in when you when you change to the different channels. You know, of course, the EQ and everything changes on the amp. Even the microphone models on the speaker change, uh, compression settings change. Um, you know, as it gets heavier, the input gain or the input um, gate gets turned on. So I've tried to think of everything you would want to do with a channel switching amp and with an amp and pedal board. So um, I hope I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Uh, the link below to access this on the marketplace will be there. Uh, feel free to leave me comments, suggestions. If you like this kind of patch, but you'd like to see it in a different style or built around uh, different amp sounds, you know, a different genre with, with a clean crunch drive with different, different pedals, feel free to let me know in the comments. I would be happy to look at doing something like that. So uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when I have new stuff out. And we'll see you next time.